add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? All right, off we go. Day number, I don't know, ten, whatever. I don't know. They all sort of blend together. Anyway, got the gold night shirt on today. Uh, hockey season about to start, but let's talk about poker, right? Because that's what we're here for. Uh, yesterday, jumped in around level five and a half, I think. I took a good solid nap in the trailer after all the flip and go madness. I had my voice screaming five, but that was a lot of fun. Um, and so interesting, like five hours of play, I was able to chip up from 35 to about 61, which is, you know, decent. It's pretty close to average. It's fine. There's actually nobody at my table has more than 73, which is weird. Um, but what was interesting about it is, is it the, the play was, it just played pretty honest. And when I, look at that, see? <laughs> it's funny. Um, played pretty honest. Like I actually myself, see here's the thing, a triple draw by the river, by the end, the pots are usually so big that for one bet, people just call anyway. Like, I mean, it's just like, all right, well, you know, probably beat, but I'm getting 80 billion to one, so I'm gonna call. And, uh, so I only ran one bluff the entire um, tournament so far, and it was just like a Badoogie hand where I raised with Ace Deuce Badoogie, just two card, uh, big blind called. And make a long story short, going into the last draw, I went check check. I had Ace Deuce seven. I kept the seven, so I'm pretty sure he's drawn to a better three card. On the end, I don't make my Badoogie. He checks, and I thought, well, because I drew two, right, and I kept one, he's going. He's going to give me credit a lot of time for a really good three card. Like, and if he doesn't have a Badoogie, if he has something like you know, three, four, six, or something like that, he, he might fold that. So he thought for a while and he folded. So we won that pot as a bluff. But as far as bluffing goes, we will do we will do a decent amount of bluffing. And the way in which we construct bluffs in triple draw for the most part is, I would say, well, first of all, blockers mean a lot, right? Like when you have cards that they might need. So if you start a hand, let's say deuce, deuce, three, three, seven, right? Well. They might need a deuce for a three, or even better, three, three. I had a hand, like, I had that exact hand, deuce, three, three, seven, seven. So blockers is a thing, but there's also the other um, other part of the range that I think is worth bluffing occasionally. And that, by bluffing, I mean snowing. So it means you stay pat where like you don't actually have it, but you're pretending that you do. And one of the way, where, spots where that makes sense sometimes, let's say you think your opponent has a very, very strong draw and yours isn't, right? So even if you make your hand you, and he makes his, you'd still probably lose. Well, then you would stay pat like, just early in the hand and try to bluff it. Like I did that once, a guy raised in the cutoff. I three bet him on the button with three, four, seven, eight. Not a great hand. Um, and then I caught a nine, okay? And that's a that's not a good hand. Nine, eight, seven, four, three. Like you should still theoretically probably draw, but I, I stay pat with the hand because I'm, I think he's gonna actually break some nines too, right? So if he makes a nine, he might just throw his nine away to try to draw to something smoother since I padded after the first draw right and uh and yeah besides like i'm i don't expect i can't i can't make a really good hand with that piece of cheese eight seven three four so anyway part of the range that you know you use for bluffs is, uh like those kind of spots and some blocker stuff and whatnot but we're gonna give it a run today got plenty of chips um and then yeah that's it then we might just babbling now let's go drive Hasn't been the best of starts. Hasn't been the best of starts here. But here we are. This guy raised. He raised. Oh, sorry. That's the wrong color. This is seven. This is this is the side pot between there. Yeah. One, two, three, four. That's my hand. That's that's all me. There it is. That's good. Sorry. Okay. I was thinking with the five thousand there. We threw one away. No problem. Let's see if we can fit one right in. All right. I guess I still need one card. Two guys all in here. All right. Try to this get the, the second double draw. Bomb. Try to get the this double is second bomb. draw. Right? This is the smaller all in. There. This is Your pack? Second draw. third draw. Yes, There's two burn cards here. So I'm also going three. to stick with these cards. Okay. Now it's showtime, right? How, yeah. how good is you that? I can beat that. I can beat that. You I two got... first for the side pot. 
I got eight six. Uh, you okay. actually do have to show Hey, yo, we, we, yo, I win. All right. All, all in and win. And you be him. Back in action. Yeah. But Doogie, I'm all in because I got no chips left. And this is what I had. And I catch spade, spade, That's all you got? All right, cool. All right. So he's got a deuce four. We can catch a lot of cards. Unless he makes it. Let's see here. That's it. Okay, so that's an ace of spades. How many freaking spades? I hit every spade. So I got ace four. Cock. I hit spade, spade on every draw. <laughs> I did. I really did. I hit spades. You win. You win. Ace, that's nothing. I'm out. Fuck. Uh, I'm a little hot sucker after that shit. Fuck. I never won any hands. Deuce three, five, eight. Paired eights. Then I had deuce three, five, eight. Paired eights again. Same exact hand. Back to back hands. Uh, in this last one, I was the big blind with deuce four, and I had like one bet left. But as you can see, I could have caught an ace, three, five, six, seven of any suit that was red. And I had two cards to catch that, and I caught Stugatz. So one hand that really kind of was frustrating was an ace to five just before that. And I know this is a mental block in my, in my own brain because it drives me nuts. Historically, I have so many painful memories of a dealer fucking up and giving the guy like the wrong card. So what happened was, with one to come, I had ace, six, three, six, and the dealer deals this guy his card, but just blah, fumbles it all over the fucking place. And somehow he launched it on the floor. I don't know how he launched to the one seat. He launched the card on the floor, but the card hit the floor. It was a five, which would have made him a pair of fives, which is not a good thing. So now he gets a new card, right? Which he would have had the five, but he gets a new card and it's a seven and he makes a seven and beats me. So I know, I know, dealer errors like that, they can go either way, of course. You know, you could get lucky there. It just feels like in my brain, I remember all the bad ones. I don't remember it ever happened where it helped me. <laughs> I'm sure it has, but uh, yeah. Anyway, fuck. All right, we missed the money. 10K stud, looks like a very short field to start, which I expect. I'm expecting maybe 60, 65 for that one. Uh, but we're gonna take a little break in the, in the trailer first before we jump in there and we'll get our mind right. Cheers. Okay, yet another crucial nap-in in the trailer. It's about 5.30 right now. The event started at three o'clock. We'll be jumping in the middle of level three-ish. Field looked really small to start. I mean, it's stud, so I expect, actually, I almost nailed the over-under in the limit hold'em exactly. I said 90 and a half. I think it was 92. For the stud, I think I think I'm gonna go 67 and a half, 67 and a half. Right when I looked, there was 22 registered. So uh, people come late, you know, there's a lot of play in these things. Frankly, probably a little bit too much, but you know, some people like to play, some people don't. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm just vlogging. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we're gonna play seven card stud. Seven card stud, for those of you that don't know. Duke, that, that don't know. Check out my video on how to play seven card stud right there, okay? Uh, seven card stud, you get two cards down, one card up. One of the cool things about the game is if you like to chase, seven card stud is for you. You can chase because the pot's always laying you a pretty good price. And uh, you know, if you have sixes and the guy has nines, Let's say you have sixes and a queen and the guy has nines. You can go all the way pretty much. If you make two pair, you win. If not, if he makes two pair and you make two pair, such is life. Oh, I almost, I didn't, I noticed I've been saying such is life like crazy. And I'm trying to stop myself because some dude in the comments is like, I'm counting them. I'm trying to stop. So what am I going to use instead of such is life? I don't know. We'll figure something out because it's lame. I don't like it. But let's play some studs, shall we? Okay, so far, hour and a half in. Things are going um, the opposite of good, which would be bad. We have 19,800, you start with 60. Uh, it's been a really rough start. I really didn't want I won like two hands, I think, but the very first two hands dealt, I lost both to the river. So far, I've had jacks up and a flush draw, lost that to three kings. Had jacks up in another spot, lost that to uh, quads. <laughs> I also, no, no, the straight. I had a straight and lost that to quads. And, uh, not a lot going well. Not a lot going well. 20,000 from 60. Man, that's not good. We'll be playing uh, 12 and 2400 uh, limits, 20K. We're not dead, but geez. Cold, cold hearted, cold hearted these cars right now. But I was about to say it. I was about to say, you know, the thing, the phrase that I'm not saying right now. Just gotta get, I just gotta bear down and grind. That's pretty much it. Just gotta bear down and grind. Fight through it. That's what we got to do. All right, we're going to take a look here what it looks like to be in the winner's circle. A big old yawn from T-Chan right there. There we go, but he's doing good. 
How many chips we got, Terrence? That's over here. How many chips you got? Uh, a lot. Four. All right. So down to four in the 10K limit hold'em. Bringing it home for that poker podcast. And we're back to work over here. He's emotional. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be all in against this man right here, who's, had, who's got obvious queens. It's like red all over his face, but the king is a higher card than the queens. It's up to you, go he ahead. Put, yeah. I got 1,200 left. I got one, bet. half a bet, look at all the money in there. Are we gonna on the fold? You don't have queens, you got nothing. He has nothing, all right, I have nothing also. <laughs> Let's see who's nothing can win. Six, seven, eight of hearts. There's a pair of eights, what do you got now? Oh, you got nothing. Pair of eights, fold, baby. Okay, king's up, beat that. I don't think you can, oh, you need a king. Sweet. Let me know if you hit the king so I can. <laughs> you did say I was gonna double up. Yeah. You didn't know it was gonna be through you though. <laughs> Sweet. Six, seven, eight of hearts turned into that. Kings. Six, seven, eight of hearts turned into kings up, of course. All in with one to come. He has three fucking sixes. We have outs at least. King or queen. King or a queen. It's gotta be paint. Alright. If I can stabilize this. I can't squeeze it with one hand. That's not it. Three sixes, you win. Okay, I'm out. See ya. That was fucking no fun at all. Good luck. <laughs> no fun, y'all. No fun. There were three aces out. Start with ace king jack. He had two sixes in the hole with an ace up. I made kings and a straight draw. He uh, made three sixes. Hit the six. Fuck, I didn't hit anything as you saw. The hand right before that was an annoying one too. I started with the four spades up and ace ten of spades. The nine limps. I limped with the four spades and uh, Ant is in the bring in with a three. The nine catches a seven. I catch the ten, which is, I'm empty in the middle of the thing. Okay, I catch the ten. Um, all right, what, what do you need? Get you, man. Huh? Okay, I'm doing a vlog right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, hang on. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. As I was saying, so I limped with the ace, ten of spades, and the four of spades up. The nine limps. He catches a seven. I catch the ten, and then Ant catches a ten. So he's got three ten offsuit. I lead out with the ten four. It's no raise, pre. It's a very small pot. So Ant calls with the ten three showing. I'm like, okay, well, probably hit a ten too. My kickers are good. He's got two random cards in the hole, maybe. You know, 10 whatever. So anyway, he he catches a three. He catches open threes. I'm like, he doesn't have threes. I don't think he would call on 4th Street with threes there. Maybe if he has threes and overcard or whatever. Make a long story short, I make a flush draw. I make 10s up, 10s and 4s on the river. I'm like, okay, well, 10s and 4s beats 10s and 3s. He had a fucking three, though. He called on 4 with a three. I guess he had an overcard with the queen. But I don't think it's a good call with a guy behind him in the 9-7. I don't think it's a good call from him because there's no raise pre. So it's like a much smaller pot. I'm betting 15 with the player behind him with the nine seven showing. That could be a spot where he could be limp raising. He could be raising, I don't know. Anyway, whatever, it is what it is, fuck it. Cha! All right, that's the end of another day. Tomorrow, we should have a fun one. Tomorrow we're gonna relax until 7 p.m., okay? Nothing, I'm not playing anything. We're gonna come in at seven o'clock with an iPad. We're gonna jump in to flip and go flip and go day two which starts at 7 p.m and we're going to play that if uh that doesn't work out there is a plo mix with a re-entry that i think you can re-enter till about either 10 or 12. so it could be a busy day with three events one for sure is the online as well as the flip and go I'm not going to play the ladies event it's a 10 <laughs> you can play the ladies event if you're a dude you're allowed it's just a 10k buy-in versus a 1k i'm not doing that not doing that but anyway i'm a little ticked off all right uh i've started worse i mean i had a tenth for 46k and i had the cash the online so we got two caches going but uh we're gonna need to get get it in gear here start to make a push so we have a real shot win some bracelets peace y'all